My name is Savannah Chahom. I am a Cambodian American genocide survivor. I shared enough of my personal stories, and the youth here share enough of their stories over and over again and not being listened to. Last week, we participated in Dignity in School Weeks, the Week of Action. Today, we are ending it strong here. The themes, counselor, not cops. Today, I want to share stories of youth around the country who's been treated less than a human being by the ERO. The injustice that the ERO practice every day with students of color. November 13th, 2013, assault at Suitsland High, Priest George County, Maryland. A school police officer was recorded by school security camera removing his gun belt, placing his weapon on the floor, taking off his bulletproof vest, and kneeling down to pray before punching a 17-year-old student in the face for allegedly processing marijuana. It was later revealed the student did not have marijuana. May 2014, assault at Highland Alternative in Albany, Georgia. A civilian video reveals a school police officer assaulted a 15-year-old student. The video showed the student walking into a hallway when the police officer tackled the student into a wall and then body slammed at him into the ground. Then the school police officer unleashed a bear cage of punches to his face and torso. The officer restrained the student by kneeling on his knee and legs and handcuffed him. As a result, the student suffered two bone fractures. These stories tell you that the ERO are not to be trusted. Even though we can see it with our own eyes, and still we don't see it. Well, we have technology to prove it. There are cameras out there. As you can see on the wall, we can use $360,000 for so many great things. These are from people from our communities. We can use it such as mindfulness and emotional intelligence class. We as society don't practice mindfulness because we are so busy doing. If we have classes such as this, we can teach our students how to correct, regulate their emotions and how to problem solve. We need to be connected as human beings. And when we don't get our basic needs met, we are not the best person that we can be. I'm asking you, remove COP from school, invest resources in education that promotes leadership, wellness, learning, creativity for youth of color. Build transformative justice instead of punishing youth. Give youth and family decision-making power. I can't see how much time I have left. Um, what I want you all to know is that you, we're all human beings and you're all sitting up there. You all have feelings. We all hurt. All the students out there, they're, what they're facing every single day is a fear. They have to watch over their shoulders. And this fear will not go away. It's in our bodies. And each one of you feel that. When you have that fear, your body trigger you. And once that body trigger, you're down. And you know what? When you're down, you do some stupid things. You know, you're, I'm sorry, the time did run out. You probably didn't see it. I would appreciate so, you finishing up. What I'm saying, yes, what I'm saying, when, as human beings, when we don't get our basic needs met, we cannot be the best person that we can be. Namaste. Man, Manker, followed by Caleb.